Hey what's up guys, I'm Arno Vino and this is the unboxing and review of the Cherry Mobile Burst 2.0. So this phone is a 1.2GHz quad core processor with a 4.2 Android Jelly Bean, a 4GB of ROM and a 1GB of RAM with a 5MP back camera and a VGA camera in front and also have a 2000mAh battery. Alright, so let's first check out the box. Here is the Burst 2.0. As you can see, major curve yun look nya, but let's put it on the side first and check the other items inside the box. The next item is the 2000mAh battery. And next is the white headset with the microphone plus buttons for answering calls. Another one is the USB to micro USB connector which can be used for data transferring and cable charger. Also inside the box is the white portable charger na merong Cherry Mobile logo sa harap and the USB socket. And this is a AutoVolt 800mAh charger. Second to the last is the Cherry Mobile Burst 2.0 user manual. And of course, last but not the least is the warranty card. Alright, so we are ready to boot up this phone. But first, let's check the back. As you will see, the SIM slot has a different orientation. So merong indicator kung paano nyo ikakabit yung SIM card. And SIM 1 is yung may WCDMA. And the SIM slot 2 is the GSM only slot. And on the left side is your micro SD slot. So let's boot it up and wait for it to load. You will see on the first boot up, meron siyang quick guide on how to interact with the phone. So just click the next until you get to the finish button. Okay, let's first check out your parts ng phone. The first one is the three capacitive buttons that you will see on the bottom part of the screen. On the right side is your power button. On the top is your micro USB socket and the earphone plug. At the back, you will see the 5 megapixel camera with flash. And on the left side is the volume rocker. Sa ilalim niya is the Cherry Mobile logo and the speaker. Checking out the interface or UI of the phone, you will notice stock vanilla Android siya. And no fancy icons na nilagay. But there are additional apps that are pre-installed like the Opera Mini, Cherry Mobile apps, and some social media apps. But the first thing that I have checked is the messaging app. And a good thing, no dead spot at any point. But there are instances na napipindot yung ibang buttons while touch typing. Even though same size lang Cherry Mobile Apollo, I find it a bit uncomfortable typing comparing to Apollo. But other than that, no issue at all. The build of the phone is good but I am not a fan of the curve or rounded corners ng phone but I really like the matte finish with a combination of plastic design at the top of the camera. The 4.5 inch is manageable in one hand and easy to grip although I find it a bit pointed yung edge ng phone because of the curved look but other than that the build is pretty good. So I tested it out first outside and checked on how the display performs under the sun. Because this is only a TFT screen display, you will find it in some angles medyo hindi nyo na mababasa yung nasa phone kapag medyo nag tilt kayo and kapag maliwanag na yung area even on a 100% brightness. Next is the camera. Unfortunately, this is only a fixed focus camera so autofocus is not available even though you press on the screen it will trigger the flash but it will not focus on your subject. But here are some of the shots that I have taken. As you will see, it looks a bit blurry and soft and for the video, the fine settings is only up to 720p and that is 1280 by 720 but running on a 28 to 30 frames per second which is not bad at all. But then again, the quality is just below average. For the front camera, because it's only a VGA camera, it is really not good in taking low light shots but quite good in taking good lighting situations, even on the video. The internal storage is around 1GB and the phone storage is around 1.8GB. The screen size is 854 x 480 which is FW VGA with a 240 DPI and a 512 of RAM. Testing it out with a sketchbook. When using a capacitive pen, you will notice it's a bit responsive but not as smooth as the other Cherry Mobile phones that I reviewed na before. Using your hand is much preferred. Looking at the sensors, the temperature, gyro, and pressure are not available but even though your magnetic sensor is available and you check it using a compass app, it is not working which is a bit disappointing. Now looking at the benchmarks for the quadrant, it results around 3851 and has a 47.44 refresh rate. For the Nanomark, it resulted around 47.1 FPS and for the Antutu, it results a total of 13,494 which is not bad for a 512 RAM. Scrolling, swiping, pinching, and zooming in and out is really smooth both on apps and the UI. But if you want to play a 1080p video, the phone can't handle it. As you can see here, I am playing a 1080p MP4 file. It shows video not supported even on a third party app like MX Player. It didn't decode it but for the 720p, it runs very smooth. For the audio, yung speaker niya is okay but for me, medyo mahina yung sound even on the highest volume. And also, this is not a CTIA compliant phone so any new headsets with microphone and buttons will not work. 
unless you use the stock Cherry Mobile headsets. Checking out the display, you will see viewing it on a different angle is okay, but when you view it on a top part, you will see na nagi invert na yung kulay or medyo nag wash out na. But what is really disappointing with the phone is the storage. Even though it has a large internal and phone storage, it still lacks on transferring to SD card feature, which is kapag nakapag-install ka na ng malaking apps, there are instances na hindi niya kaya mag-install pa ng ibang apps, so limited ka dun sa storage na yun. And you really can't transfer it sa SD card. You can only use the SD card functionality sa camera, but for apps, it is not usable. But even though the phone is 512 MB of RAM lang, it's still fluid on browsing and really fast in loading pages. And for the game part, as you will see it on the Asphalt 8, it cannot render the game to the highest settings. It can only set to the very low and low visual quality. So there is a big difference sa details when playing the game. Like for example, when the car is wrecked, there is not much detail happening on it. Not like kapag nas high settings, you will see all the details like the ambient lights, shadows, and all the details when it wrecks the car. But either way, it is smooth, playable, but there are instances that you will encounter a force close issue on some high graphic intensive games, so just take note of that. Casual and average 3D games are very playable, no issues of heating in the back which is what I really like with this device. Even though you play for several hours, you will not feel any heat issue kaya mas tumatagal yung battery niya. I tested out the Clash of Clans and Arcane Legends, they both run without any issues except for the Asphalt 8 with some force close issues. But either way, it is very playable on high graphic intensive games. So for the battery life, dahil nga it doesn't consume so much heat on the phone and the battery life is pretty impressive. It lasts around 3-4 to four hours on gaming and playback of videos but for typical use, it can last around 14-16 to 16 hours depending on how you optimize your battery. And also, this is a quad band phone. So, there you go guys, that is my full review of the Cherry Mobile Burst 2.0. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, just click on the subscribe button there at the bottom of this video. And also, giving a thumbs up on this video is highly appreciated. And of course, if you have comments, feedbacks, and suggestions, feel free to post it down below the comment section. And again, I'm Arnavino, and see you on my next review video.